Welcome to another segment of our Partner Spotlight series, brought to you by the members of the Regional Chronic Disease Collaborative. The Regional Chronic Disease Collaborative members work together combining their resources and expertise to help prevent the development and progression of chronic disease across our region. Our Partner Spotlight initiative is to help share innovative approaches being used throughout our region to improve population health. Welcome. I'm here with Jordan Overstreet, a nurse practitioner and coordinator for the hypertension program at Bozeman Health. Thank you for joining us today. Yeah, thanks, Patty. Sure. Uh, Jordan, describe your innovative approach or program you are setting up. So our program is a multidisciplinary team housed in primary care at Bozeman Health. And our uh, goal is the management and treatment of hypertension or high blood pressure for our primary care patients. Great. And how did you go about this? How did you set it up? So our team was created primarily using nurses and pharmacists in order to manage blood pressure of patients referred by their primary care providers. And our goal was for primary care patients to reach and sustain blood pressure goal at less than or equal to 12 weeks. And the reason for that is there was literature supporting that primary care providers, though they are completely capable of getting their patients to blood pressure goal, just due to lack of access, we're taking somewhere between six and 12 months for their patients to reach blood pressure goals. And what, what does the workflow look like for this hypertension program? Yeah, so patients who are referred to our program are referred by their primary care provider. That provider determines an appropriate blood pressure goal for the patient based on their deep knowledge of the patient, knowing their risks and family history, et cetera. Once the patient is referred, they are seen either by myself or by a hypertension um, specially trained um, RN. And they have a long, hour long initial visit with myself or the nurse. And we take a deep dive into their lifestyle as well as history of medications, current medications, side effects, all of these things. And the nurses are especially trained in motivational interviewing. So they're able to pull from their interview um, certain areas that they feel the patient is ready or willing to make changes, and then they help guide them through making sustainable, lifelong changes. Um, but the other piece is they're able to, through the protocol in place um, and, the, and through working with the pharmacist, um, titrate or change medications that are appropriate for the man management of their blood pressure. Great. And what results have you found with this program? So our current data has shown that about 73% of patients have reached their blood pressure goal at less than 12 weeks. And the average time to goal is around nine to 10 weeks to attain and sustain their blood pressure goal. Great. And I think you mentioned something about patients that you were tracking patient satisfaction as well. Yeah, so we had several um, secondary um, outcomes that we were monitoring, one of which being BMI. We did see a net decrease in BMI, um, as well as we were monitoring patient satisfaction scores. So we did um, monitor on a one to five scale, five being excellent, um, and our patient satisfaction scores have come back at 4.9. So overall excellent scores as far as patients experience going through the program. Great. And what are you most proud of? I think what I am most proud of is the fact that we, as a multidisciplinary team, have been able to have meaningful and impactful um, time with these patients and working towards very patient-centered goals and changes that are sustainable for them. Um, just recently, I had a patient who had graduated from the program uh, tell me 
how much this program meant to her, not only from the standpoint of her blood pressure, but even from a relationship standpoint that she and her husband made these changes together and how much of a positive impact this, this program made on her marriage and the healthy goals that they were working on together. So even though that's just one small piece, knowing that that has really um, translated to many of our patients. And I think you presented this concept at an American Heart Association conference. Yes, so we submitted an abstract and we were selected to present a poster presentation um, at the 2022 American Heart Hypertension Scientific Sessions. And it was incredible. One, it was very motivating being there with very brilliant minds working solely on blood pressure. But we were approached by the director of Target VP, um, and Target VP is a, a, a combination of the American Medical Association and American Heart Association working solely on blood pressure. And they commended us for our work because they stated that this is really the way of the future, a multidisciplinary approach using all of our disciplines to help our patients not only med manage medications, but also creating impactful lifestyle changes. Great. And what advice do you have for others who might want to set up a similar hypertension program? You know, um, I have a lot of advice, but the the big one would be, you know, never underestimate the value and impact each discipline brings to a program. Everything from clerical support, management, pharmacists, nurses, and then our primary care providers. When we come at this um, with that team-based um, approach, we tend to have better outcomes because we're all bringing value um, to the program. So that would be my first piece of advice. Um, and then my second piece is be okay with the slow process and taking things off in small bites, making small changes and watching that over time rather than biting off one whole big change um, and becoming overwhelmed. Great. Well, I appreciate you being willing to share this great idea with others in our region. Thanks so much and have a great day. Yeah, thank you, Patty. If you are interested in sharing your innovative approach, please contact one of these Mountain Pacific representatives. Thank you so much.